Hello, and welcome to the Data Innovation Summit and this webinar on preparing your social data for machine learning and visualization. My name is Mike Nixon, and I'm a solution architect here with Matillion. I joined Matillion just over a year ago, and before that, I spent around 25 years specializing in the development and maintenance of enterprise scale data warehouses. So, some background about Matillion. Matillion is data transformation for the cloud. We are cloud native, developed from the onset to run in cloud environments, and we are cloud deployed. We have headquarters in Manchester in the UK and Denver, and offices in New York and Seattle. Matillion is an ETL tool. Although contrary to the naming convention, it is fundamentally an ELT architecture. So we extract data from a large variety of different sources, load that data into your data warehouse, and once there, transform that data to add business value. We have an intuitive, easy to use user interface, which enables you to graphically build complex tasks, not only making them easy to build, but also easy to maintain. Matillion can scale. We use a push down approach built to take advantage of the power and features and scalability of cloud data warehouses, such as Amazon Redshift, Snowflake, Azure Synapse, and Google BigQuery. We have fast value. Matillion deploys within your cloud account and can be up and running in a few minutes with no complex installation or client software configuration. And we have a pay-as-you-go cost model. There's no long-term commitments and you can have control over your costs. So what is machine learning? Machine learning is the process of building and training models to process data. So it's looking for patterns and identifying patterns in large amounts of data. I've just highlighted a couple of quotes here. One of the pioneers of computation and algorithms in the 1950s was Alan Turing, based at Manchester University, just down the road from our Matillion offices. But really it was Arthur Lee Samuel who coined the phrase machine learning. He did a lot of work around computerizing the game of checkers. He used pattern matching algorithms to start to derive the best solutions. So looking for patterns in the data and evaluating the best outcome. Using machine learning services in the cloud has never been easier. And I'm going to show you how in Matillion you can easily extract data from social media. So we're going to be extracting tweet information from Twitter. Analyze those tweets using sentiment analysis. So using a machine learning algorithm to determine the sentiment of the tweet and then report on that data. What is sentiment analysis? Well, it's the interpretation and classification of emotions. So we're going to be looking through large amounts of data and analyzing the sentiment of that data. Is it positive, negative, neutral? So deriving those sentiments based on the text within that data. Typical use cases for this would be, for example, tracking customer sentiment over time. So it could be that the sentiment of a certain product is initially very positive, but over time the market may change, the people's perceptions of the product may change, so that sentiment may change over time. You can also use it to determine which customer segments have the strongest opinions. Look at which customer base gives you the strongest positive sentiment, negative sentiment, and analyze the difference between those customer bases. You could also use it to plan product improvements. For example, if you're trialing a product, you could get instant feedback on the sentiment that's coming through social media based on those product changes or the trial of that product. You could also use it to determine the most effective communication channels. So you could look across different social media platforms, analyze the sentiment across those platforms, and look at which platforms are the best for communicating your product. And it allows you to prioritize customer service issues. So if you have a lot of negative sentiment, you can focus in on where the negative sentiment is coming from. So some really powerful value in performing sentiment analysis. This next slide provides some background into the architecture I'll be using. Matillion is running in the cloud, so it's running close to the cloud data warehouses and we'll be using a pushdown architecture to leverage the parallel processing of these data warehouses. 
Matillion also enables you to connect to many different data sources, making it easy to extract data from those sources. We can connect to cloud applications, cloud databases, data from cloud storage, for example. And in this case, we're going to connect to Twitter, extract tweet information, and load it into our cloud data warehouse. We're going to perform some transformations on that data, preparing our data for machine learning algorithms so we can execute our algorithms against that data. We're going to run the algorithms. Once the data is returned from the service, we're going to perform some further transformations to make that data ready for insights via our reporting tools. In this example, I've used the machine learning service from Amazon called Comprehend. There are a number of different machine learning services out there. I've used this one mainly because I was running on AWS, so it just was a natural choice to use that service, but certainly the same techniques would apply and I could have just have easily used a different cloud service, for example, IBM Watson. Now let's switch over to the Matillion tool and see exactly how this can be implemented. I'm now in the main development console of Matillion. And here on the left hand side, you can see I have a folder structure where I can organize my jobs. In Matillion, we have two types of jobs. We have the blue jobs, which are orchestration jobs, and the green ones, transformation jobs. The orchestration jobs will perform the extracting and loading of data into your cloud data warehouse, and so the E and L in ELT, and will also execute the transformation jobs. The transformation jobs will transform your data once it's loaded into your data warehouse. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to build an orchestration to connect to and extract data from a cloud application like Twitter. And then I'll show you how I've used that within a more complicated orchestration to integrate with machine learning services. So to create a new orchestration job, I just need to add orchestration job and give that job a name. Once created here on the left hand side, Matillion gives me a number of components which I can use to graphically build my orchestration flow. So I have components that can connect to other cloud services, execute DDL against my cloud data warehouse, control the flow through my orchestration, iterate over components, and I have over 90 connectors to different source applications to extract data from. So for example, CRM and marketing applications, document and file formats, ERP systems, financial systems, internet applications, on-premise and cloud databases, social networks, and a number of other key components to connect to databases and load data from cloud storage. So I'm going to use my Twitter component here. And all I need to do is drag it onto the screen and connect it to my start component. Initially, the component shows me there's a number of properties to be set. Here, I need to set my authentication method. So I'm going to connect to Twitter using authentication. And I've already uploaded my client ID in secret into Matillion. So I can just select this from the dropdown. Once I'm authenticated to my Twitter account, I can then select what data I want to extract from the Twitter application. So I can do this by selecting the data source here. So if I wanted to extract tweet information, I can just select the tweets data source. I then can select what data items I want from that data source. Here, I'm just going to select all the data items. I can then also specify a filter. So just for testing, I'm just going to specify a filter here where I'm only going to extract tweets where the search term is equal to the hashtag of MUFC for Manchester United Football Club. I then need to provide the target table where I want this data to be loaded into my cloud data warehouse. So I'm just going to specify a new table here. And finally, the staging area. So as Matillion is extracting the data, it's going to use this as a temporary location before loading the data into my data warehouse. That's everything set on my component. My component is now green and valid. And I can move to the sample tab here 
and sample my data that's coming through from Twitter. So I've used this technique in a more complicated orchestration flow. I'm starting to integrate with other services. The first component I'm going to run within my orchestration flow here is going to take advantage of the elasticity of my cloud data warehouse. So I'm going to scale up the size of my Snowflake data warehouse to large. This is going to enable my transformation and my data load components to run more quickly. And at the end of this process, I can scale this back down to extra small to save costs. The next component I'm running is a transformation job. So I can just drag and drop the transformation jobs I've created here on the left hand side, include those within my orchestration flow. This particular transformation, it's going to be loading some data into a table. So I have a fixed flow component here. I've typed in some values that I can just insert here using this interface. And it's going to load those values into a table for me, create a table within my cloud data warehouse called tweet search terms. This is the table I'm going to use to drive my Twitter extracts. Next, I'm creating a table. So this is a staging table where I'm going to store the tweets, the extracted data from my query from Twitter. Next, I'm using an iterator component. I'm using a table iterator. So I'm going to be reading the values from my tweet search terms table and assigning those to a variable. I'm iterating over my Twitter extract here. So I'm using the variable in the search terms. So for each of the search terms in my table, it's going to be passing in the variable and extracting the data relevant to that search term. Also within the Twitter component here, I'm taking advantage of some of the connection options. So the Twitter account is going to have a maximum rate limit on it. So when I've reached my rate limit, I'm not going to be able to extract any more data from Twitter. So here I'm enabling the component to sleep for a certain amount of time. So it can then continue to extract data once that uh, rate limit delay has been reset. So this component is going to extract the data and load this into a target table here called Stitch Tweets in my data warehouse. Once all of these iterations are complete, and this could take quite a long time because it's going to extract a lot of tweet information from Twitter. Once this is complete, and then I'm going to start preparing my data ready for my machine learning service. So here I'm going to run another transformation job. So this is going to start shaping the data ready to pass on to my machine learning service. So I'm doing some filtering here. I'm just filtering out all English language tweets. I'm aggregating the data. And you can see here as I build my transformations in Matillion, I can actually sample the data at each stage. Once I've shaped the data, then I'm going to extract that data out ready to pass on to the Amazon Comprehend service. So here I'm using a iteration, a table iterator again, but this time I'm iterating over a whole orchestration job. So within this orchestration job, I'm doing some date formatting, running another transformation that's going to create some views. And then I'm going to use those views to unload those into data files, onto S3, onto cloud storage, which I can then pass on to my machine learning service. Once this is complete, then I'm going to run a bash component here. And this is the only component really where I've needed to add it some code. So here I'm executing using the AWS CLI. I'm executing the comprehend service. I'm passing a value to start the sentiment detection job. I'm passing in different values here to 
pass on all the details of where my data is stored within my cloud account to execute the uh, machine learning service, load that data in and provide some details on the sentiment of that data. This is going to trigger asynchronously. So it's going to pass this data on to the Comprehend service and this orchestration job will then finish. And I'm going to wait for that Comprehend service to complete to actually deliver the files back to me before I then trigger my next job. So I have a second orchestration job here and this orchestration job is going to be triggered when the files land in S3. So I created a Lambda function that's going to trigger the Matillion orchestration job when those files arrive. So I'm running a bash component here to do some uncompression on the files. And then I'm using our S3 load component to load those files into a target table in my data warehouse. Once loaded, I'm then going to perform some data cleanup on those files on that data using a transformation job. So here I have my raw data in a Stitch Tweet Comprehend Sentiment table. If I sample that data, you can see that it's actually in JSON format. So in order to start performing some data cleanup on that data within my data warehouse, I'm going to use our flattened variant component here, which is going to extract the columns within that data for me. I can then start using this to perform aggregations and filters, joining into my existing search terms, and then writing this out to a final target table in my data warehouse, which is going to be used for my reporting environment. So to implement this whole process, I've not had to write any code. I've used the graphical user interface to configure the components. I'm using a transformation job here to initialize my metadata, which is going to drive my data extracts from Twitter. I'm using another transformation to do my data cleanup to prepare my data for the machine learning service. And the only complexity is using the command line to actually execute the machine learning service. So once the whole process is complete, I'm writing out to a final reporting table in my data warehouse, this tweet search sentiment table, and I can use this as a data source for my presentation tools. So based on my final reporting table in my data warehouse, I built a simple dashboard here in Tableau, and it really starts to bring my data to life. So the Amazon Comprehend service tag each of my tweets with a sentiment of mixed, negative, neutral, or positive. And I can start to use that to analyze the data against each of the search items I used in my Twitter extract. I can start to analyze that sentiment over time or compare different categories within my data to see how that sentiment varies over the categories. Well, thank you for joining the webinar today. I hope you found it useful. You can find more information, including a detailed blog article on machine learning and sentiment analysis on our website at www.matillion.com. Thank you for joining and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.